Hello everyone, it's me, Evan, back with another video. Today I shall be reviewing the um, first wave of Jack Pacific Sonic 4-inch line. Each one comes with an accessory and a figure. Got Sonic, Tails, Dr. Eggman, Shadow, and these accessories. Well, I'm first going to start by covering the accessories, then I'll cover the figurines one by one. Let's get into it. Starting things off with modern Sonic accessory, you have the Star Spring. The sculpting is really well done for what it is. It's really well painted, it has everything, the details all there. It has a small yellow line there, I'm just, it, you can somewhat make it out, but I'm just trying to get a zoom in if I don't think it's working. The blue is there, the star is painted on, it even has a bit of a spring feature like the spring from Green Hill Zone playset. So it actually, it, you can actually put it there and it actually has works as a spring. All in all, it's really good. Next up, we have the invincibility item. This accessory, the invincibility item, it's well sculpted, the clear plastic is, is really well done, the paper insert with the three white stars in the blue background is really good. It's a pretty simple item, I say, and it's just, I really like it, it's simple enough, and yeah. On to the third item, we have the spikes which come with Eggman. The spikes are just a simple two-piece put together item. The black part covers the grey, which the grey holds the spikes in place. The spikes, on the other hand, aren't made of like a hard plastic, they're a bit of like a bendable kind of plastic, as shown here. That's probably for the better, because if these things were hard plastic, they could probably hurt if you were to slap your hand in them or step on them by mistake. And last, but certainly not least, the Super Ring, or as I would call it, the Ten Ring, which comes with Shadow the Hedgehog. It's a simple ring that's been filled in on the inside with the same golden material as the ring, but given a, given a 10 in the middle, hence the name the 10 ring or super ring, because in the game you collect, you get 10 rings. It's a simple item, it's really good, and it comes with Shadow the Hedgehog, arguably one of the better sculpted ones of the wave. First off the bat, we have Sonic the Hedgehog. I, his molding is really well done, the detail is all there. It's really well sculpted for what it is, and he has around 12 articulation points. He's got two in his arms, has two ball jointed hands and same for his shoes. His head can turn as well, like every figurine before it. A bit of a problem with some of these figurines is that they're too top heavy in the head, which makes it a bit difficult for the legs to stand up. Speaking of the legs, they're some of the better articulated parts of every figurine. Each Jack Pacific 4 inch figurine has the same amount of leg articulation. They both have leg joints and they both have knee joints, as shown here. And they also have ball joints in the feet, which allows them to articulate their legs in almost every way you can possibly imagine. And that's really good about these figurines. They've got really good articulation, but then this is a bit of a problem with the articulation. They can't properly stand at all. So for the most part, you have to like properly like bend Sonic's legs and down a lot, so he's like looking down when he's trying to stand up. So it gets difficult and a bit tedious over time trying to get Sonic to stand up straight. But we, we, I've worked with it enough, so I know how to get him to stand properly. He's got details in the back. His quills are all here. He's got all six of them. They all look really well sculpted. He's got his back spikes and tail right there. All in all, Jackson did a really good job painting, molding, and giving these characters articulation. These are some of the best figurines I've seen thus far. On to the next figure. Next figurine we have is Tails. Tails has the same articulation as Sonic, except with the inclusion of his tails. His tails can spin around in place. They can't really do that much besides that. They're really well detailed for what they are. I, they're one of the better parts of him. He has the same articulation in the hands and arms like Sonic does. His head can move, but when you have his tails up, they kind of prohibit it. Tails has the same articulation in the legs as Sonic does, as Shadow and Eggman is also. But I think the problem with my one has this problem with his joint, I think. If you can somewhat see it, hold on, wait, give me a moment. Just zoom it in. If you can see there, you can kind of see the joint has been not placed in the right way. It's like somewhat backwards and it's really hard to move without legs, so Tails is a bit troublesome when it comes to standing up or posing him at all. Another problem with the uh, another problem with the tails figurine is the tails actually itself. When you try putting them upright, he can't stand, which is understandable. They're pretty heavy weighted. So that's why he keeps his tails on the side constantly because they work as a bit of a stand. Don't worry about articulating his tails. 
But besides those two flaws, it's a really good figurine. I like it. Now we move on to my personal favorite figurine, Shadow the Hedgehog. The, the sculpt and molding is really well done. He's got his red stripes on his fur, he's got his inhibitor rings all painted up. Another thing I forgot to mention with these figurines, they all have pegs at the bottom of their shoes so they can fit in with the green hill set, even though they don't fit with some parts of it, but it's really good to have that inclusion. And besides that, he's got the same articulation as the two figurines before it. His spikes are really well done, he's got the one going out and the two going, the four going up around him. I really like the way they did his um, smile, actually. But, like Some angles look like he's frowning, but some angles look like he's smiling. His hands are vastly different compared to Tails and Sonic. He has two somewhat open hands. He's got one with the, he's got his hand open like this, like he's holding a Chaos Emerald. And the other one is somewhat clenched into a fist. There's a small gap in the middle. He's got the same articulation as Sonic and Tails, ball-jointed hand and arms, ball-jointed hover shoes. His legs are the same. But then again, he suffers the same problem as Sonic and Tails. He's somewhat top-heavy, so we got to try and articulate him in certain ways as he fall over. But besides that, Shadow's actually really well done. Shadow's also really well detailed. He has his chest fur in and all in all, I really love the figurine for what it is. It's done really well. Last, but certainly not least, we have Dr. Ivo Robotnik. By far the more articulated action figure between all, all four of them that have been released for Wave 1. Instead of having no elbow joints, he has elbow joints, surprisingly. Kind of inconsistent, but hey, I'll take it. Free articulation. He's got he's got the ball jointed hands like everyone else before him. He's got arm joints. His head can move, but it can't really move that much thanks to his mustache. The torso is sculpted really well for how it's done. He's got the same leg articulation on par with Sonic, Shadow, and Tails. He's got knee joints, ball joints in the feet, but his can't move all the way thanks to his design. He can stand upright like everyone else, and I really like this figurine for how well it's molded. His shoes can, like I said before, have ball joints. His legs can move all the way back, and they can. They, his legs are kind of prohibited in the ball joint area, but that's understandable. A bit of sacrifices and more articulation. All in all, this figurine is really well sculpted. The paint is there, the details there, everything's all color. He's got the small details on his jacket, like the four golden buttons, the two grey ovals. This is one of Jack Pacific's best figurines thus far I have. And I can't wait for the second wave. And that's all the figurines released for Wave 1. All in all, I can definitely say these are some of the best articulated, sculpted, and molded figurines I have owned so far. I can't wait for the second wave, and I'll review those the moment I get all of them. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all next video.